Welcome Patriot Nation basketball players. We've got another workout for you. Today's workout I'm super excited about. I know you guys will be excited also. We got um, a lot of shooting today, some shooting competitions. The first thing we're gonna do is talk about form though, remind you guys to think about form a little bit. Um, we're gonna talk about form with the word B, B E B F. So talking about your balance, you want to make sure your feet are right. You want to have your feet hip width apart, so look down at your hips. Make sure the inside of your feet are about that wide. Your toes are pointing toward the basket where you're shooting. And we also then want your elbow. The next letter E is for your elbow. We want your elbow underneath the ball. So elbow under the ball, as you can see Coach has it there. And then we want your eyes, is the next E, we want your eyes focused on the rim. So looking at the rim at all times, don't follow the ball with your eyes. You want to keep your head still. And then the last letter, F, is for follow through. So make sure you're following through with one hand at the basket. So make sure you follow through right at the rim uh, with your hand. So think about beef when you're shooting, balance, elbow, eyes at the rim, and then follow through right at the rim. So coach is going to demonstrate some of the shooting. We're going to shoot at five different spots. So you're going to shoot from the corner, kind of the wing area, just in front of the free throw line, other wing, and other corner. Um, he's going to shoot about 10 feet, so you want to make you want to make five at each spot. Coach is going to work at this. He's going to make two um, for the sake of the video. But we want you to make five at every single spot from 10 feet, and then you're going to make five at every spot from 15 feet. This is about free throw line at, from all those five spots. So Coach is going to shoot. He's going to hit two. Let's we'll see how he does here. Stepping in, good rhythm. Make sure you step in with. Alright, keep on. There we go. Here you go, coach. So you're shooting from 10 feet, making two in a row. Nice, one, one more. Here we go. Nice, pretty good percentage. Then you're going to go to 15 feet. So you can make five from every spot at 10 feet, now going to 15 feet. There you go, nice. shot at three different spots. You will shoot from also the wing over here, the wing over here, and also the corner shot. So you get 25, you get 50 makes there inside the three-point line. Uh, so I think that's a good shooting drill. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that you will not. All right, we're going to do some competitions here today as well to see if you guys can beat us in some shooting. The next one is three in a row. You just got to make three in a row, which is a challenge. Or just do two in a row. Um, coach is going to go from the 10 and the 15, which is harder, but focus on the 10 foot. Hope you'll shoot better than me on this one. Three in a row, two in a row, you get four in a row, push yourself on this drill. All right, this shooting drill, you're gonna wanna channel your inner Tim Duncan, one of the best shooters off the glass. If you don't know who that is, Tim Duncan, make sure you look it up. So coach is gonna shoot from 10 feet, that's just outside the lane, a big step outside the lane, he's gonna shoot a glass shot. So you can shoot off the glass until he makes five, and then you would go to the other side, shoot until you make five, about 10 feet and then back it up to 15 feet. So shoot off the glass. This works on your touch. Make sure you get a good touch off the glass.
sure you do that on both sides. From the light wing about 10 feet away and 15 feet away, make five from each of those spots and then five from the left side. 10 feet away, 15 feet away. You get a lot of good touches uh, there going off the glass. All right, the last one is around the world. Basically, your five spots, you're going to try to make five makes. If it takes you all the way, if you get them all five in a row, that's great. But if you go back to the beginning and just hit five, if you're by yourself, just spin the ball to yourself. Or have somebody, if you have a, your dad or a brother, or another sibling to pass you the ball at the same time. Five. got a competition here, a shooting competition. It's called Beat the Pro. So you're going to pick your favorite pro basketball player, or you can pick any basketball player. You can say, I want to beat Coach Neal. So you can be playing against Coach Neal. So Coach Neal, who are you going to play against today? I'm going to go with Steve Kerr. Uh, he's one of the biggest shots for the Bulls. He could be World Be Free. I do him as well. You look him up as well. So Steve Kerr is going to go with. Okay, so Coach is going to play against Steve Kerr. He's going to shoot. For every shot Coach makes, he gets a point. For every shot he misses, Steve Kerr gets two points. And we're gonna play to 15. So first player to get to 15 wins. So he's gonna pick one spot, he's gonna keep shooting at that spot. You can change it up. You can shoot all over the court. You can shoot all threes. You can shoot all 15 foot jumpers, whatever you need to work on, bank shots. So you can pick and choose that. So he's gonna play to 15, so he can beat Steve Kerr. This last game is star shooting, um, working on game speed, game shots. So the coach is going to go from the corner to the wing, the other wing, to this corner, and then at the top. So five total shots. You go through it two times. So what you're going to do is you're going to start your device in the corner, cell phone or someone else. After the last shot of the tenth shot, you can get five, take five seconds off your total to go over and cut off your device. You're gonna to try to make as many shots as possible. And then for every make that you have, it's minus three seconds. So it's a speed thing. Game speed, game shots. Okay, so 10 seconds, you're trying to get the lowest score seconds possible. So game speed, game shots from all five positions two times. Subtract five seconds from your device to run over and cut it off. Or unless you have somebody that has it for you, then you would cut it right there. For every make, you get three seconds off your time. Okay, here we go. So I messed that up a little bit. He's going for each spot by himself, so he's going to take five seconds off of the end. I just went it down, spring the spot. Take two shots already. Take six seconds off his total time. He's 
gonna do it all over again. Up and down. Got five shots. Shooting well. Go corner to the left wing. To the right wing to the left corner and then to the top. Seven makes, so subtract 21 seconds from that time. And his time was? One minute. One minute, so that's pretty impressive. That's 39 seconds, right? Yes. Yeah, so, and we can subtract five from that, maybe. I had mine on my We'll give him 10 seconds. No, uh, that was pretty good shooting there. So I maybe need to review my third challenge against him. So. so guys, make sure you compete when you're shooting. Compete against yourself, even if you're at home by yourself. You can compete. If you can get cardio in there, game shots, you can set goals for yourself. You don't have to be playing five on five all the time. I just got 10 really good shots in after I did my 30 minute ball handling. You also get you know, 10, 15 minutes of form shooting, then you get game reps in. That's how you improve as a player. And then when you go to the playground, when you go to the gym, when you're in scrimmages, then you're going to be able to perform some of those in game-like situations. Keep working hard, guys. <laughs>